Hey, what is going on you guys? Today, we are going to be going over how to build a dividend stock watch list in Google Sheets, and here you can already see what our finished product is going to look like. And you can see on this spreadsheet, we're gonna track things like the ticker, name, price, 365 day change, the days change, the days change as a percentage, our 12 month return, the amount paid in dividends, our dividend yield, our payout ratio, and the industry. And the great thing about this spreadsheet is it's completely interactive. So let's say instead of Apple that I wanted to see the 3M company, all I would need to do is type in their ticker and hit enter. And you can see all of these metrics have filled in automatically and have updated accordingly. We can also change our 365 day trend line to whatever amount of days we want. So let's say we wanna see a 500 day trend line, I'll hit enter here. And once everything is loaded in, you can see it has updated automatically. So this is a really useful tool. If you'd like to be able to download this dividend stock watch list or any of my other portfolio trackers in Google Sheets like the ones you see here, then you can head over to my Patreon page at the link in the description. So with that being said, let's go ahead and jump into the tutorial. Okay, so I have a new Google spreadsheet open and the first thing I'm gonna do is come up here to the top left and go ahead and give this a title. I'm just gonna go ahead and title this dividend stock watch list. If we come down here in the very first cell, I wanna see my ticker, I wanna know the name of the company, and I also want to know their current price. So I'm gonna list those three things here, and let's say we wanna see this information for Apple. So for the name, in order to automate this, we are gonna use the Google Finance function. You can see it right here. Using Google Finance, we can come over here and click on Apple stock ticker, and if I add a comma and then type out name in quotations and close this parentheses and hit enter, you can see we have automatically pulled Apple's name. We're gonna do the same thing for price. We're gonna use the Google Finance function, click on Apple and type out price and close this parentheses and hit enter. And it will automatically pull Apple's price for us. And now we wanna see our 365 day change trend line. This is gonna be a little bit more complicated formula, but I'm gonna have the formula posted in the description. So in order to build this, we are gonna use the Sparkline function as well as the Google Finance function. And we are gonna click on Apple and we wanna build this out with Apple's stock price. So we're gonna type out price again. And now we need to indicate the timeline and we want it to be today minus 364 days all the way back to today. and I'm gonna close off this parentheses and hit enter, and you can see we have our trend line. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna make this look a little bit nicer and also automate it. So I'm gonna make some changes to this by indexing this. And I'm gonna index this to number two. And then we're also gonna make some adjustments to the way that this trend line looks. So in order to do that, I'm gonna to add to the end of this formula. And the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change the chart type. And we are going to make this a column chart. And once I've done that, I'm also going to change the color of the chart to green. You can see the formula for how I've done this here. And again, I'm going to have this formula posted in the description. And so when I hit enter, you can see our trend line is looking a lot nicer, but there's one more step I wanna make. I wanna be able to automate this to where I can change this to a 500 day trend line or a 100 day trend line or however I want. So I'm gonna come up here to format and click on text. And excuse me, let's see, let's go to number. And if we come down here to the bottom and click on custom number format, what we're gonna do is we're gonna type out a number and then in quotations, we want it to say days change. And this is for the cell above our trend line. And I'm going to click on apply. And now all we need to do this top cell is just type out 365. And when we hit enter, you can see it will still say days change. And now we need our trend line to refer to that 365. So what I'm gonna do is instead of having today minus 364, is we're gonna have today minus the cell above us, which is 365, and this will automate the trend line. So now if we change this from 365 to a different number, like maybe 500 and hit enter, you can see we now have a 500 days change trend line. We could really put any number here we want. So maybe 180, you can see now we have a 180 day trend line. 
So I'm gonna go ahead and set this back to 365 now. So let's keep moving forward. One of the things we wanna see is we wanna see our days change and our days change as a percent. So for our days change, we're gonna use our Google Finance function. We'll click on Apple and all we have to do is type out change in quotations and close this parentheses and hit enter. And you can see we can now see how Apple has traded on the day. For our days change percentage, it's gonna be very similar. We're gonna type out our Google Finance function. We will come over here and click on Apple. And we're just gonna type out change PCT, which stands for percentage and close this off. And then we're gonna go ahead and divide this by 100. And when I hit enter, you can see, let's go ahead and format this to a percentage. And now we have our days change as a percent. And the next thing that I wanna see is what my 12 month return is. So this is gonna be another formula that's just a little bit more complicated, but stick with me, I think we can work through it. I'll also be sure to have this one posted in the description as well. So for this formula, we're gonna use the Google Finance function, and we're gonna come over here and click on Apple, and we are gonna take Apple's current price, and then we are going to divide this. And I'm gonna type out index, and again, I want the Google Finance function. We'll come over here and click on Apple. And again, we want their price. And now we're gonna use the date value function to pull the price of a specific date. And we want it today minus 365 days ago. And we'll close off this parentheses, finish our index function. And you can see here, once we make this a percentage, we now have our 12 month return. The next thing that I wanna see is the amount that this stock pays in dividends. And in order to do this, we are actually gonna to have to jump over to finviz.com and web scrape this data. And I actually have a tutorial on my channel on how to web scrape in Google Sheets. It's a really useful tutorial. I highly suggest you go watch it if this is something you're interested in. But essentially, I'm gonna to go to finviz.com and type in Apple stock ticker. If I scroll down, you can see here, we have a really nice table with a lot of data on Apple. But right here, if we come over here, you can see it shows us exactly how much Apple pays in dividends per share. And this is what we wanna web scrape into our Google spreadsheet. So let's jump back over to our spreadsheet. I'm just gonna go ahead and copy and paste in the formula that I use to web scrape dividends from finviz.com. And this is a formula I'll have posted in the description. If you're interested in how I do this, then I have tutorials on my channel you can watch and you can learn how to web scrape things like dividend into Google Sheets. Now I want to be able to have my dividend yield in Google Sheets and since we already have the amount we paid in dividends we can just take this and divide it by the current price and this will give us the stock's current dividend yield. And let's adjust this to a percentage and we can see Apple's dividend yield. And the next thing we wanna do is I wanna see my payout ratio. That's a really important metric for a dividend stock. And again, we are going to web scrape this from Google Sheets. So I'm gonna go ahead and paste this in. And it says the payout ratio is 15%. And again, this is a formula I'll have posted in the description. If we jump over to Finviz, Let's see, we can see right over here, it looks like it is showing the correct amount for the payout ratio. So that looks like we have correctly web scraped that into Google Sheets. And if we keep moving forward, the very last thing that I wanna see is what industry this stock is in. So again, we are going to web scrape this, but this time we're gonna actually go to Fidelity Research to web scrape this. So I'm gonna type in Apple's stock ticker and click go. And once Apple's come up, I'm gonna go ahead and scroll down a little bit. And right here, you can see it lists what sector Apple's in. It says information technology. This is what I'm going to web scrape into Google Sheets. So I'm just gonna go ahead and paste this formula into my spreadsheet. 
And again, that's a formula that I'll have posted in the description. I highly suggest you watch my video on how to web scrape in Google Sheets. But you can see now we have all the metrics that we need for our dividend stock watch list. So if I were to change Apple to a different stock like Coca-Cola and hit enter, you can see all of these metrics have automatically updated all by themselves. So we have already automated our spreadsheet. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to switch this back to Apple and let me go ahead and add a few different dividend stocks into my dividend stock watch list and then we can finish this spreadsheet. And again, be sure if you struggle with any of this video, you can pause and rewind or you can copy and paste the formulas that I have used in the description below. Okay, so now that I have already listed all of my dividend stocks for my watch list, I can just highlight this and drag these formulas down. And we can see now we have all this data and all these metrics on each of these dividend stocks. So this is a completely automated spreadsheet now. So really all we have left to do is some formatting. So I'm going to go ahead and go forth with that and we will center the text for all of this. And the next thing that I want to do is I'm going to highlight this entire data. We'll go to format and if we come down here to alternating colors, you can see it gives us a lot of options for different color schemes. Go ahead and pick the one that you think looks best. I think for this one, I'm going to go with green and I'll come down here and click done. And that just makes things look a little bit cleaner. Then I'm going to highlight this top row and we can bold this text just to make that stand out just a little bit more. And if I highlight all of our days change and our 12 month return, let's add conditional formatting to this. So I'll go to format and click conditional formatting. We're going to say we want anything greater than zero to show up with green text. So I can adjust that here. And if I add another rule, we want to say anything that is less than zero, we want to show up with red text. And that's just a great way to make your number stand out a little bit more and it makes everything easier to comprehend. And I'm going to go ahead and highlight this and spread out these rows and make these rows just a little bit larger just to make things look nicer. And let's go ahead and vertically align this text just so everything lines up. And I'm going to spread out just a couple of these columns as well. And let me go ahead and highlight this. And actually, let's go ahead and bold the text of everything in this spreadsheet. I think that'll look a little bit nicer. And again, really when it comes to formatting, it's just kind of playing with it until it looks the way that you want it to look. So to me, I think this is one of the formats that looks the best. And I'm just going to go ahead and spread these rows out just a little bit more. And OK, I think that looks about right. So it looks like we have all of our data and I have finished formatting all of this data into Google Sheets. Let's test it out and make sure it's working. And you can see now that I've changed that, it looks like it is correctly working. So now our dividend stock watch list is officially complete. If you'd like to be able to download this dividend stock watch list or any of my other portfolio trackers in Google Sheets, then you can head over to my Patreon page at the link in the description. So with that being said, thank you guys so much for watching the video and please don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel.